then right arm, right knee. So I'm thinking eight, one, six, nine, maybe. Eight, one, six, nine. No. Nine, six, one, eight. No. So it's not that either. I'm confused. The only thing I haven't used so far that I've found is the torn holes in the beds, which I'm pretty sure I kind of have used telling me where to scratch on that poster. The shapes on the wall in room one, in the room I'm in, which correspond with the poster, the arms and legs, the diagram on the posters, which gives me numbers. I'm sure those numbers are giving me the code to this because I can't think of anywhere else I'd use those numbers. But it doesn't seem to be working. Circle, star, diamond, triangle. One, six, eight, nine. Pretty sure I've done this already, but one, six, eight, nine. What about that in reverse? So nine, eight, six, one. In reverse. Really? Yes, it opened. Sun, star, moon. This is just like the code we saw in the Amberdex room. I mean, it's a different code of course, but it looks really similar. I think this probably opens a safe. I think that's the gold case. Yep. Yes, it opened. Man, what good is a victory dance when there's no one there to see it? I'm lonely. Oh well, I'll just have to look inside. But that still gave me the that one, not the code to get out of the room. Huh? It's locked again. The input thing is turned off too. Why'd that happen?
I done the wrong number. Huh? I put in the right number, but it won't open. Maybe it won't take the same number twice? I'm thinking I need another number there for... Getting the normal exit to the room. Six one nine eight. five at the end there. One, six, nine, eight. One, six, eight, nine. One, nine, six, eight. One, nine, eight, six. Yay! Yes, got it. So I had it kind of right. One, nine, eight, six was the... That's an easy one. I did kind of brute force it, but I couldn't work it out, so... Huh? Unlocking successful. I wonder what's inside this time. Wait a minute. If I look through the stuff in here without telling Fire and Alice, they might be suspicious later. You took something when we weren't looking. Yeah, those are two bad sides I really don't want to be on. I think I'll just go get them before I go through it. Well, that was easy enough. What's this? Did you open this, Sigma? Yeah, who else could have? Why didn't you tell us sooner? What? Forget about it, Alice. Let's just see what's in there. What's this thing? A map. It says floor A. Hmm. We can look at it more later. There's more stuff in the safe. Why don't we get all of it before we start going through it? Good idea. Looks like we've got... A card. Whoop. Maybe make that two cards. This is one of those cards for the AB room. See, it says Ambidex room right there. So it does. Then we can use these to open the AB rooms. Yes. But how are we supposed to get back there? The door on the warehouse is still locked. To the warehouse is still locked. I think the answer is that question. The answer to that question is in the safe. Check out this note. 
Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I carrot cannot even I carrot keep you from going in and out of them. Any colour of bracelet can go through them and as many people as you like. But 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free roam free rain rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back into until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So once we can get out of the crew quarters, we can head back to the warehouse. Right? Yeah, seems like that. And this key is how we're going to get out of here. Right. So this key will open the door at the end of the hallway. Let's go. Wait. What about this book on the top of the safe? Hmm. Oh, it's a book about cats. But I do... But do we have time for that right now? Meow? Meow? Sorry. It's this sort of... I guess you could call it a tick. I've had it since I was young. I wish I was just kitten, but I can't control it. It's not dangerous, though. You're perfectly fine. Not dangerous? Um... Anyway, the book's called Schroeder, Schrodinger's Cat. Don't you mean Schrodinger's Cat? I must have misread it. Oh, you've heard of it? Uh, Schrodinger's. Schrodinger's. Yeah. I think it'd be harder to find someone who hasn't heard of it. Yeah. For real? Do you know what it is too, Alice? Of course I do. I was just wondering why this book was here. So what is Schrodinger's cat? It's a quantum physics thought experiment. The book probably discusses the principles the experiment talks about in more depth. See, Aaron Rudolf Joseph Alexander Schrodinger was a scholar of theoretical physics in Austria. He was born in 1887 and... Wait, is this going to be a long story? Yes, thought so. How about we talk about it later then? I mean, we just found the key that, that'll get us out of here. You do have a point there. Yes, he does. We should leave now. All right, let's go. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Okay, I'm ready. Go for it. All right then, three, two, one. You didn't need to have a countdown to open the door. We made our way down the hallway and at the end, waiting for us, were the others. Hey, looks like the gang's all here. What's up? Nothing's up. We left our room, and it left. And ended up here. Sigma, let me see that map you found earlier. Oh, right. Yep. Different path, but ends up the same place. Oh, 
No matter which door we took, all of them led back here. That's the same as the map we found in the lounge. The lounge? Oh, we found something like that too. Our room was an infirmary. That's so. We found ours in the crew quarters. Huh. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Looks like it. Look, there's a box here. Well. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. We know it definitely is. They are. Look, huh? Yeah, it won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh, yeah. The time left. Looks like two hours and six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? No. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Clover, how about you show him that note we found? Oh. Okay. Uh, hold on. Huh? Was it something about supplementary rules? Cause we found a note just like that. It was in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in the safe in the crew quarters. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I can't, can't keep you from going in and out of them. Any colour of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of the free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. Will it let me skip I anything? I don't think zeros. Yes. All this is stuff I've seen before. So, this is the crew quarters, huh? Just as the note said, we had no trouble getting in here. That means we can go to the infirmary or the lounge? Yeah, we can check out any of them. Hey, look, Grandpa! <laughs> they got a poster of a lady in here! It looks like the ones you got back home! <laughs> hmm. This one's pretty hot. I think we're talking at least 14, maybe even 15 EU. Uh... What? Agreed. Uh, what? I sure would like to take it home with me. Unfortunately, I don't think this is really the time for that. Let's keep moving. 1450 EU? What? What? Hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? Yeah. In other words, they'd known each other before the nonary game, and if Quark was calling Ken Miyuji Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? 
let's go, buddy. I can't wait to get out of here and back to my uh, grandpa videos. Oh. <laughs> you mean the ones you keep in the locked cabinet? Uh. Shh. <laughs> You're being too loud, Quark. <laughs> you have to say these things quietly. Um. Okay. Don't copy me, Zero. I just yawned as well, but I've done it silently. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. I you think... don't get tired. Yep, already heard all this. Kay, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Ten Muji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion about who'd go into which room, which door, but Fi and I found ourselves heading towards the leftmost room. Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should go in too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? Wait. Something wrong? No, nothing. I just... there's no one here. What are you talking about? Of course there isn't anyone here. Well, yeah, I know. I just... Let's get inside. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. So somehow Sigma... Realized there was supposed to be someone this there. This looks just like the room we Well, there was, in. there was last time. Yeah. Well, there's one thing that's different. That screen. Yeah. Looks like there's something on it. Star. Shit! What the hell are you doing, you idiot? What? I just pressed the star button. Did you even read what it said? Once you press that button, it locks the door for 40 minutes. Now thanks to your stupid ass, we're stuck in here for almost an hour. Oh, really? Yes, really. Ugh. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like everybody's closed their AB gates. AB gate? That's the door to the AB room, silly. You're in the AB room right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be continuing my earlier explanation. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AB game. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Mono a mono or... Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two-on-one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Alas and went through the Cyan door, didn't they? That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Alas. And it goes the other way, too. Alas's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. 
obviously, that means potassium and Prevo's enemy will be Tamioli. Potassium and Cleaver. What are these names? And B O and Quirk's enemy will be Mooney. <laughs> well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? I'm saving all the allies until last. Next is what you get if you choose ally. But your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose 2 BP. And they get 3. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's get them and stew them with some taters. The third choice is the opposite of that. I have heard all that. Okay, then. Don't need to go through it again. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, but it'll just have to wait, I guess. <laughs> What? Why does it have to wait? Hush now. It'll be okay. No, it won't. 30 minutes remain until Avidex game polling closes. Anyway, I've got to hop along now. Don't do something harebrained and wait until the last minute. You've got plenty of time, so think it out. Bye bye now. Have a nice trust! Man, what are we going to do? About the AB game? Yeah. Should we choose ally or betray? Yeah, it's a tough call. I've already made my choice of what I'm going to do. This is really kind of an interesting game. It seems like it's based on the prisoner's dilemma. What's that? You've never heard of it? It's a thought experiment that uses game theory to examine why people do or don't cooperate. Let's say Apple and Banana have committed a serious crime. Apple and Banana? I just gave them the first names I thought of. And you were thinking of fruit. They don't mean anything. Anyway, Apple and Banana are caught by the police and sent off to separate cells far away from one another. In other words, there's no way for them to contact each other. And they're not like telepaths or something. So that's the setup. You following me? Yeah, keep going. So a detective shows up. He visits each cell and tells them both exactly the same thing. It goes something like this. You can both clam up if that's what you want. We got enough to put you both in the slammer for two years if you do. Now if you flip on your pal over there, tell me everything. I can get your sentence reduced to one year. That means your buddy will serve 15, but... <laughs> That ain't your problem, right? Of course, if he decides to spill the beans, it goes the other way. He gets one year, and you get to spend 15 years eating government cheese. You're probably wondering if both of you confess. Well, I can shave off a little time for saving me trouble, but you'll still both do 10 years. So, punk, what's it gonna be? You gonna give me what I want, or you gonna keep that trap shut? Of course, I told your partner the same thing I just told you. 
I wonder if you can trust him to keep the cat in the bag. No rush. Give you plenty of time to think about it.